I have with me today P. Indian and Leon Mendonza. Hi guys, uh, five days of working with Gelfand and now today with Kramnik. Yeah, yeah. How was it? Um, it was a good change. It was interesting. Gelfand was more fast and uh, Kramnik is, uh, is more like uh, slower. But uh, we think more in Kramnik. So it's different version. Uh, Gelfand sees more games and uh, Kramnik goes for more lines. And uh, it's, it's interesting. What about you, Leon? We already had some experience with Kramnik, yeah, so we were familiar with the way how it So you didn't have to introduce yourself to him or, you yeah, know, no, you just yeah. began? No, yeah. even with Gelfand, we didn't need to introduce. He already uh, knew us. He already knew you guys. Well, today you had a very interesting position. Of course, you are working on openings. But then you reach this position here, where I think you work for what, one hour or so? Yeah, we are bashing yeah, our heads for one hour, one and a half hour. No, a little more I think. One and a half hours on this position. So tell us a bit about this position. What's going on and who, who is playing with white, who is playing with black? So white is uh, Arkady Nadic versus uh, and Kramnik is black. Okay. So it was a complex game. Uh, Kramnik sacrificed his pawn like um, he played knight b6, knight into b6, knight into b6, queen into b6 in the middle game itself. So he had some initiative, and uh, yeah, there were some mistakes, but it was quite complex. So then we reached this position. So what what did you learn from this overall, and what are you trying to show? Because you know the position is like material imbalance. White black has five pawns, white has four, but white has two pieces for a rook. Oh, oh yeah, uh, black is attacking white and white is attacking black at the same time because uh, the g7 pawn is also weak as well as the h3 pawn and white's king is weak. Uh, the position is very complex, uh, black has a rook and pawn which is like equal to the two pieces by material standards but uh, uh, dynamically the position is balanced. White's queen is now off the game but uh, once it reaches inside I, white will be definitely be better. It's just a matter of one one tempo. Kramnik could go into this just because of this queen only. Yeah. Yeah, so, so the question is why is this complex because you know there are two rooks. I mean it's not too much material on the board nor is it a very unusual position. No, uh, white is strategically better, we must uh, know that. Uh, black's, uh, black's position is better dynamically but white is good strategically. So once these pieces come back, uh, the material balance will not be of importance. White is much better. So let's say white plays queen b3 and even if the queen is exchanged or not, white has a uh, blockade and the two pieces are much better than other. So may, may, it's not a question of his, uh, what the evaluation of the position is, but white is pressing. That's all. So black has to be very careful and very be very concrete, keep finding moves that pose problems. Yeah. Okay, so the first move is black to move. Yeah. Okay, so we'll ask the viewers to pause and think here, just like how Kramnik told you to do. Pause the game, think, maybe what, 5 minutes? No, 10 15, minutes. 10 he gave us 10 at least. 10, 10 to 15, 15 minutes, so it's not, okay. Now, think. And we already approaching time travel here. Tell us what, what went through your mind. No, first of all, we need to know the evaluation of the position. So this position could be like winning for black, losing for black or equal. So even we have to first evaluate this one. Even during the game, both players didn't know actually the evaluation. It's quite tough to evaluate. Mm, sure. Yeah. So first we have to decide that. Uh, and now black has several options here. Uh, for example, he has queen f1. He has queen e3, he has queen e4, queen to b1, queen to d1, king to h7, several options here. My god. Yeah. <laughs> that was the main difficulty in this problem. Yeah, so we have to choose which one. And, to and go these with. moves are not like forcing in nature, yes? No, no. no because all the forcing moves don't work. So maybe you can play another move with an idea or something. Yeah. Hmm. 
so first let's go with the okay so first we have to see the problem for black uh, let's say black goes in with the rook to f3 or something like that then that is knight f4 and, G's and then the g sound falls so it's a uh, very unfortunate i yeah. can't make this work out otherwise it will be a win for black immediately so this rook can't go inside for now the problem is knight f4 so what black can try to do is he can go to the first rank and try to bring the king outside and then mate but the problem with that is uh, we can't move the rook immediately again because of the same knight f4 problem so we have to like uh, no but before that um, black has an other option king it's send to play again yeah yeah so right. first we will tell the problems for black okay so he can move the queen and then bring the rook inside so that is one of the ideas but again and again the problem comes in some variation of either the check or the king is in an awkward place here because when your rook goes away let's say somewhere no and is uh, he's not here but somewhere else okay and white plays queen c or queen and bishop this pawn is falling and there is no way to defend it mm. and so he has to bring the rook back so it is not useful so black can try to play king h7 and then bring the rook to g8 so free up a square and also give up a move to white and then see what he is doing this move is sound but it has a concrete problem like queen, queen b3 b. takes a and then rook e6 and now if white plays knight f4 then black takes takes and play rook into f4 which is better for black or knight h4 g5 is again better but now white has knight f8 take rook into g7 king h8 and now this windmill idea of rook into b7 but he has to take on yeah, it right yeah he has to take it and black and now, can draw yeah, yeah but... he can play rook e8 and then something like rook c7 take take rook here is like straight force draw so this is a possibility for black he can go for a draw in this position if he wants to so if uh, the uh, if the player thinks that the position is equal he can go for this straight away but if a person wants to press for some time then this variation is not possible so leon you think that kramnik felt that the position was better for him and so he continued no not better exactly he can pose more problems so it's too straight forward because mm. he can play i think um, maybe it's better also i don't know so but he can play at least yeah. so he can it play. is one of those positions where you should know the evaluation to know whether you want to play for a win or a draw but very difficult to know the evaluation yeah yeah <laughs> no but i think kramnik knew that at least he was not worse because it's his move and the queen cannot come and he has several ideas so so what did he do he played queen b1 in the game what what is this move doing are you attacking the a2 pawn no 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 <laughs> <laughs> we actually want to bring the rook to f1 to uh give a check on h1 and try to mate so basically let's assume it's black to move he yeah. goes rook f1 and then indian's idea of knight f4 yeah now, this won't work now because the rook comes to h1 now. and then king g3 you have and queen e1 and then mate queen e1 yeah and it's very fast okay so uh, white can try some options bringing the queen inside the game is not working at all because of rook f1 mm -hmm. there is no defense for that so white tries to blockade this file and he can do it by knight to f4 Hmm. like blocking it physically and now uh, white plans to bring his queen again to uh, b3 and then inside the game now black's problem is that uh, he can take on e5 yeah but at least um, he's like fighting for a draw yeah, yeah. after this so here take take now white has some options here uh, like queen d8 or queen into b7 he can go queen d8 let's do this first if uh, no if king yeah, okay. sound first then queen d7 or queen e7 wherever and then it's impossible to defend this yeah one. this is really losing fast yeah. so rook f8 queen d7 now g5 is the only move because rook f7 fails to e6 and it was quite easy. nice what a nice move yeah but after g5 it's not clear that white is winning but yeah uh, at least white has a perpetual so that you can make a decision that rook e5 is not good hmm. yeah or uh, white could also like take the pawn here no like take the pawn and then see Like if you go for rook f7 now, it is the same position but with an extra pawn. Yeah, you can even pick up c6. Yeah, you can even pick up c6. No, but then like here, uh, queen into c6, queen e4, and yeah, that is some counterplay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it should be a draw only. Okay. Yeah, but now black has to defend for some time. So black has to avoid such positions. So he played uh, queen b1 and knight f4, and now uh, he played queen f1. to again remove the knight so that then yeah so now you are threatening rook into f4 no no rook into e5 ah rook into e5 into and f4 queen into f4, f4. correct ah sorry you can't take on f4 g7 is hanging yeah okay so he's threatening rook into f4 white has to again do something to defend it and uh, he played knight to g if uh, knight h5 then we have rook f2 always and this is just losing ooh okay nice spin, yeah. nice 
so uh, so Nidic played knight g6 hoping or you can say ready for a draw if Kramnik went back queen yeah. b1 yeah both had very less time also hmm. but Kramnik wanted to play for a win and uh, here uh, okay one more idea was instead of knight g6 white had this option to play for perpetual with rook g1 hmm. if he wants to make a draw or something like that and here we again thought for a long time Kramnik gave us this position to think what to okay do. so once again to the viewers black to move Think basically we are trying to recreate the scenario where you are learning from Kramnik. Although instead of Kramnik, we have Leon and Inian. <laughs> <laughs> but it's where they were forced to think, and uh, we are making you do the same. So what what did uh, you come up with here? With okay, black? first of all, this idea is I think of Leon's, hmm. and then uh, here uh, if Black plays Queen after, then Rook G to Queen comes to third rank, Rook comes to the third, and if Black goes Queen E for whenever, then Knight G two. So this position, white holds this position and then brings his queen slowly. Black no, but actually it. here, uh, if queen f2 check, he has to go rook g2 because of knight g2. Then I think he has rook e2. Yeah, and it's a uh, oh okay. Yeah. So he has to play rook g2 yeah. and it should be a draw. Yeah, but black has queen c4 here, hitting this pawn and then preventing uh, and queen also rook e2 and also rook and defend. So if white plays b3 now. Black can go for the same queen c to check check on the on the first rank. And here the but important now, thing is the queen can't come there. Oh, that's a subtle point. Yeah. yeah. You you force the pawn to come to b3 to take away the white queen square. So yeah. like uh, whenever you give a check or something, you have one extra move for black. Fantastic. So here uh, Nidish played uh, for queen f knight g6, and now Kramnik uh, played uh, queen e1 here. Now in instead of that rook uh, rook f2 is not working now because of knight h4. Mm. So now he just protects this pawn, rook and then queen into b7 is the threat, that's no satisfactory defense. If he comes back then it's just a loss of time and white brings his queen back, so it's, it's not good. Okay. So now Kramnik played queen one, but uh, at this, by this point he starts to go astray. He thought uh, he's still playing for a win, but uh, he missed a strong move. Uh, so okay. now, now, so now here now. white uh, has a very strong move. Yes. Yeah. That is okay. So time again to put your thinking cap on. I can tell you, I was sitting next to them thinking, uh, all the students and you guys were having a real tough time today. Yeah. So make yourself sweat at home as well. White to move. What is the best move for white? Okay, guys, tell us what is the best move here. Okay, uh, when you think it's a little counterintuitive, but when you know the move, then it's like it makes little sense. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, white can again go like knight f4, trying to yeah. go back to the previous move. But the best better move is bishop f4. So knight f4 is decent. Yeah, but but queen e4, I'm not sure that's. The no, and then it goes back. Goes back now. Knight g6. Yeah, it's just the same move. So it's like equal. Yeah. But bishop f4 actually gives white an advantage now. Ah, uh, slightly better yeah. position. Okay. What's the point? No, but actually I don't think so because then I found the move queen f1 and Kramnik couldn't uh, like exactly read. No, no, but the point is black is like playing for a win by when playing queen e1. Mm. So he's purposefully avoiding perpetual. And now he can play queen f1 but then bishop e5 is just repetition. So yeah, it's also psychological in nature that Kramnik doesn't want to draw. Yeah. So he won't repeat now. What? So what now did he do? Now blocking this file. Yeah. And now uh, his knight will go to e5 at some point. Mm. So he's like uh, changing his pieces. Yeah, so queen f1, I thought like uh, uh, you must try to uh, pl uh, remove uh, this bishop or knight, try to discoordinate and try to make your own threat. Yeah. That's why I thought of queen f1. But um, but what did Kramnik do? Played king h7. King h7, yeah. King went to h7, okay. Yeah. And when playing this one, he made a big miscalculation, like a huge one. And uh, after knight e5, here black has some options like he can move to e7 or so first of all can he take on f4 yeah he played, yeah, that. He played that so, so oh, what what why did white give up a piece yeah so if uh, black moves no then it's nothing just it's just white is, white yeah. is already white. Like, uh, he can go queen b3 back yeah. and yeah so black takes on f4 it's like force move and now white plays queen c7 hitting the g7 and uh, as we uh, as I said previously, this king h7 gives this additional possibility of rook j to defend. Only way Otherwise, to defend. Otherwise, it's a mate immediate. Yeah. And now white has this knight d3, which Kramnik missed. And it is oh. important to insert queen c7 because you need to attack the rook. Yeah. Otherwise, he will defend the rook and then. Uh, is isn't Kramnik losing a piece? Yeah, yeah he is. He is. Oh but he my god. Pawns by playing this. And by this point, it was in time trouble. So the players have Kramnik made a mistake because he was not seeing the. But he's now almost a piece down yeah, and with losing. his king quite exposed on h7. Uh, it's a miracle that he didn't lose, yes? Yeah. yeah. In fact, later on in the game, he, uh, he, uh, he, he almost, almost won. won. 
फैंटेस्टिक गाइज यू शेयर दिस पोजिशन विद अस विद सच डीप एनालिसिस वॉट डिड यू पर्सनली लर्न फ्रॉम दिस पोजिशन um basically i think what he was trying to make us uh, learn is like we must uh, see many possibilities and try to look for both both sides moves uh-huh. and uh, what about you in yeah i i learned that you have to know the evaluation of the position before going for an advantage or something because in a pos- if you don't have an advantage and you are keep in the, and you keep on playing for an advantage you are bound to get into trouble at some point well, thank you so much for sharing this instructive analysis i think the viewers are going to learn a lot thank thanks you. thank you I just wanted to give you this example of course opening wise but especially I mean that you you see that this kind of games so often happens you have to calculate a lot and very you know to be very concentrated and precise you know because a lot of things you are missing yeah, when you calculate a lot of ideas tactical ideas and then like this you miss one and you know like I did with bishop before which was like one or two variations it's easy to calculate but Small options, it's becoming tougher. Yes, no, of course, of course, it's true. I mean, especially when there is no clear understanding who is better at all. Yeah, when it's like three results possible. But that's uh, yeah, that uh, happens. I mean, sometimes in the game, and uh, I mean, it's clear nobody can calculate it very precisely. But at least you know to to try to see as much as possible. Yeah, that's. Uh,